Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. Uh, the purpose of this video is to uh, describe how to draw electric field vectors around a point charge. So, uh, here we have a point charge of mass Q, or I'm sorry, of charge Q here, and we're gonna draw electric field vectors at various points here. So right now I'm gonna put some dots here at various locations, and we're gonna talk about how to draw electric field vectors at all these different points. I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple out here as well. Now, right now these dots, all these are, these are just points in space. There's nothing special about them uh, in any way, shape, or form. They're just points in space where I'm going to draw electric field vectors. So I'm going to start with this one. If I were to draw an electric field vector at this point, the remember the electric field direction is defined as the force direction on a small positive test charge so imagine putting a small positive charge at that point in space these two charges would repel the force direction on that animal is to the right and therefore the electric field vector at this point in space would go to the right if I pick another point like maybe down here if I put a small positive test charge here, this animal will repel it. Therefore, the force direction is down, and therefore the electric field uh, vector would go down. Now, you notice I drew this about the same length as this one. Well, that's because it's the same charge creating it, and the distance is not is basically the same. I had intended it at least on it to be uh, the same distance. So imagine these are all about approximate distance apart. So there's no reason for this electric field vector to uh, change in magnitude. Now you notice that both these uh, electric field vectors point away from this charge. Well, that's a natural consequence of how the electric field uh, direction is defined. Anytime you put a small positive test charge, close to a positive charge, there'll be a repulsive force. So I can actually go ahead and draw a bunch more electric field vectors. This one's going to be this way. This one's going to be this way. Every one of these is going to point away from our charge. So there's the electric field uh, vectors at all those different locations. They would be roughly the same length because these points are all roughly, super roughly, I guess, but uh, the same distance uh, to the charge. All right now, if I go further away, maybe to this point, again, and I imagine putting a small positive test charge here, the electric field, or I'm sorry, the force on that charge will be, again, away from this charge. So that's going to be down and left. However, because this point's quite a bit further away than this point, I know this electric field vector is going to be quite a bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that vector uh, quite a bit uh, shorter. And I'll save another video for the, like, how much shorter, or another video for the magnitudes. If I picked a point like right here, again, the electric field vector would point maybe this way, and here this way. This one here would be this way. All these electric field vectors point directly away from this positive charge. In fact, electric field vectors always point away from positive charges. Now, the opposite, that's also true. You know, if this were negatively charged, imagine, imagine for a moment where it uh, is negatively charged, and I put a proton right here. Well, a proton is positively charged. If this were negatively charged, it'd be an attractive force between them, and therefore the force on our proton would be left if it were right at that location, and therefore the electric field vector would be left. Right? If this were negatively charged, the electric field vector at this point would be, kind of, would be pointing this way, and this one would be pointing this way, and so forth. So rule of thumb here, electric fields always point away from positive charges and towards negative charges. I think I'm going to keep this video kind of short and uh, call that one quits. I hope this video helps demonstrate how to find the electric field directions. Have a great day.